we are at the dawn of a new era where alternative energy becomes the norm. It's happening right now inside this warehouse using fuel cells, CAD programs, and forklifts. Welcome to Nuvera Fuel Cells. Nuvera Fuel Cells was founded in the year 2000, bringing together two distinct technologies that were complementary to each other. One side, fuel cell power systems, the other side, hydrogen generation equipment. The PowerTap generator is a product that takes natural gas and water and creates hydrogen. The product that we have on the market is a product that makes 50 kilograms per day of hydrogen. The hydrogen is 99.995% pure. What we're doing is making a, for all intents and purposes, a hybrid powertrain that you would see in a car with a fuel cell, packaging it into a battery box and putting it into the forklift market. It's really cutting edge work. We really need an application like SolidWorks that'll adapt and allow us to change our designs immediately uh, within days or hours, not uh, weeks or months. What we found is that Typically, forklift operators don't use braking very uh, often. They stop the truck by hitting the pallets. This can generate shock loads up to 30 Gs. We're able to take that profile into simulation, into the vibration analysis, and analyze any structure, any type of bracing that's required. So the simulation really helps us to get that, take that one solid idea and get it into a manufacturing phase. The savings will likely cut the test time from one year down to six months, the cost from 120000 to about 50000 and we will only need one prototype to test. The difference between the SOLIDWORKS and the other CAD programs is the maturity of the product. The, the functionality you get with SOLIDWORKS is by far an order of magnitude greater than most of them. Um, for the money that you get, it's, it's, the functionality is just unsurpassed. Releasing this new product, because we've gotten so much faster, so much more agile, and SOLIDWORKS has helped us do that, it's only taken us six months to release that product. Where we can go in today with this new technology at the prices that we can make it today and show a very strong set of economics to the customer and get them to switch over to the fuel cell. In the year 2015, the Department of Energy is going to have a go-no-go -no -go on whether or not they believe people should start investing in the production of fuel cell vehicles and in the hydrogen infrastructure. Based on the state of technology today, the milestone in 2015 is going to be a go.